Hello all, Steve Aguzzi here. I'm the Associate Pastor at Mount Lebanon Evangelical Presbyterian Church in Pittsburgh, PA. Welcome to the Leper's Lunch, Theology in a Time of Uncertainty and During Viral Scares. Um, really the purpose of this is just to offer brief devotion to my congregation and anyone else who might be listening um, during this time of fear in our country and our nation, um, you know, to some degree, we're all uh, we're all lepers. We're all people in need of Jesus's mercy and grace in our lives. And we long for the touch of God in our lives. And um, that's what the purpose of this little time of devotion is. So this is a, a passage from the Gospel of Mark, uh, chapter one, starting with verse 40. It says, and Jesus went into their synagogues throughout all of Galilee preaching and casting out the demons. And a leper came to Jesus, beseeching him and falling on his knees before him and saying, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Moved with compassion, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing, be clean. This little word here, moved with compassion, um, is spalaxomai in the Greek. And it means a kind of compassion that's a gut-wrenching compassion a compassion that moves beyond um, mere mortal and human compassion, but one that, that's divinely inspired through the person of Jesus. Immediately, the leprosy left the man, and he was cleansed. And Jesus sternly warned him, immediately sent him away. And he said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a testimony for them. Here Jesus is warning the leper not to say anything, which is atypical in the Gospels, um, especially in evangel evangelistic gospel like, such as Mark, but it's part of, part of what's known as the, the Markan um, secret. And uh, Jesus, it seems, is, is, he knows that if uh, people get the word out about him that his adversaries may try to kill him uh, too soon uh, before his appointed time on the cross. It continues, but he went out and began to proclaim it freely, this man did, to spread the news around him. How could you not? To such an extent that Jesus could no longer publicly enter a city, but Jesus stayed out in the lonely areas, and they were coming to him from everywhere. You know, this is really indicative of the person of Jesus Christ, that he would be willing, uh, he who was pure and clean in every way, would be willing to touch the one who was impure would be willing to heal the one with, with an issue, uh, would be willing to provide a presence, a longing presence, um, a divine presence with the one who is an outcast, who is set apart from his community. Um, Jesus here in some ways was um, kind of augmenting the temple purity laws, um, where it was implied that you should not uh, touch someone who was unclean. But Jesus, who is the one who is clean, um, is able to do that. He's able to purify in us the things that uh, set us apart from our communities. So if you're a person that's, um, that's struggled with um, all that's going on here with the coronavirus, it's, it's brought about such fear in our country and, and in our own homes. Um, fear for ourselves, fear for uh, elderly and, and vulnerable populations, um, those who are sick already. Um, just know that we need not fear uh, with Christ on our side, uh, that he is with us, uh, that God in Jesus is for us, which is an amazing thing. Stay tuned and I'm going to sing us a song on hopefully it's an encouragement to you and God bless you this day.